Yo, yo, yo! It has been a long time since I have made a video guide in front of the glorious Subsworld headquarters. Today I'm going to be talking about a toy that you can use in RPGs that have the same benefit as the Horde Battle Standard. If you're not familiar with the Horde Battle Standard and what I'm referring to, it is this flag right here. Uh, you can pick it up somewhere, but as a rogue man, you should know what this is. Uh, what rogues use this as is a stepping stool to set down, uh, go sap their target that could be really far away, and then run back and shadow step that flag that they just set down to close 25 yards of distance instead of running that distance. Uh, because at some point, your defender of a flag can be really far away so that when you get to them, sap them, and run all the way back, sometimes you're just too late. It is what it is. But if you use the Horde Battle Standard, you can get back to the flag just in time. Um, but the big downfall of this is, one, it's a 10-minute cooldown, and two, it can be targeted by enemy players and killed. Uh, it's only got like 1,500 health. Has 1500 health and it can be killed within like one auto or whatever the hell. It can be killed and then boom, you're at a 10 minute cooldown and you just let the enemy know that you're there without even opening. But today I'm going to be talking about a one minute cooldown toy that you can use in RPGs called the Stackable Stag. It is located in the Valley of Four Winds for a low, low, low price of a thousand gold. You can use this toy. And you can use it, uh, it gives the same benefit as the Horde Battle Standard. There's a few problems with it that I'll talk about in a minute, but it, I'll show you what it looks like. So you set down your stag, okay, and it's clickable, and they cannot kill it. That's a good thing. But the thing is, it's a one minute cooldown, and it has the same benefits of the stepping stool as the Horde Battle Standard. But it's a one minute cooldown, so it's huge, huge, huge benefits. Okay, I'm going to show you this macro right here. Boom, stackable stag, mouse over. Focus step, okay? What I do, like let's say let's say you're a new broke. Let's say you're a new 2400 broke. You set down your stackable stack. Let's say this is your primary target that you want to sap. He's too far away. This this is easily sappable, but you get the idea. Let's say your flag's like right here. We'll we'll put the flag right here, okay? Let's say this is your primary target. You're in stealth. You just watched Subs World video, but you didn't watch all of it, so you you're like, okay, I set down my stackable stag, sap, turn around, you lose your primary target, you have to click your stackable stag, step, cap. Okay? There's a lot of like clunkiness in that. It's clicking your primary target, it's clicking your stackable stag, and stuff like that. Like, well, Subs World, I set down my stackable stag, and then I set focus it, and then I click my primary target. Okay? Even then. So you set down your stackable stag, you click it, right click, set focus, click your primary, walk over, sap, and then whatever you use for your step, step back, or your shadow step, focus, and boom, you got the flag. It's just, it's not as clean as it could be if you used this macro. This macro will set down your stackable stag. When you mouse over it and press the keybind, it will automatically set focus it and it will automatically shadow step it if it is possible. Okay, let's set down another stag just like this. A little hint at what I'm about to talk to next. What I'm about to talk about next. So you set down your stag. Okay. Well, let's get rid of our thing. Fuck it, died. Fuck, it's not clickable. If your stag dies on underneath and the top one is up here, uh, most of the time you can't click the top one. I don't know why. Uh, I've been messing with it for like the, I, this is like my fucking fifth attempt at making a video because these fucking dumbasses keep fucking up. But anyways, that's that, that I was. It's a hint towards what I'm about to talk about next. So anyways, you set down your stackable stag, run away. It's not ready yet. Uh, fuck, this stag is fucking me over. Okay, anyways, might as well just talk about the next part. The next part is your stackable stag can fuck up. Okay, if the enemy watches my video like let's say like i'm a let's say i'm like a a 2300 warlock all i ever watch is warlock videos why the fuck would a warlock ever use a stag ever like the dude has what the fuck is a stackable stack that's probably what the warlock is th thinking okay but if the warlock it is like a a rogue secondary like alt rogue and he watches subsworld's videos then you the primary rogue 
you're probably fucked, okay? Um, because if the enemy happens to watch my videos, they can set down their own stag, and if these stags are close enough, it will do like it mentions, and they will walk like they will walk across and get on top of each other. You can actually see the distance right here. Uh, you see how my A1 is red? If I get too close, and if I was to set down a, a stag again, the stag would walk over and get on top, okay? But you can get around it, but it's a little bit harder, okay? I know I have to bring out paint, and I brought out paint before, but just, just bear with me, okay? Let's say this, this is, oh, shit. Let's say this is flag. Flag, very nice, okay? Uh, this is enemy. Okay, and fuck. Enemy sets down stag. Okay, you, as the good guy, of course, can stand like right here. Let's say, let's say you click on the stackable stag, which is right here, and it's showing red. Then you can set it down. Okay, you can set down your stag. Shot and set focus it. Do the macro. Walk over. Stop this guy walk over, shout stuff to stag bag, and cap it, okay? You can find the distance which that it's like greater than so that they won't stack up on top of each other like so. Like if I walk over, like right now, I'll just show you. If I walk over and press it, it automatically stacks on top of it like so, or it will walk over there and stack, which neither of those cases you want, okay? So you need to find the distance, that red marking like I was talking about, you need to find it, if your defender uses a stag, I highly doubt your, def I mean, maybe like what if this video blows the fuck up and everybody just starts using stags because I brought light to it. Okay. This could happen. This very well could happen. Okay. But all you have to do is you have to find the distance in between the two and then you're good. But what the enemy could do is let's say this is the flag. The enemy could be here. Okay. Could be there. They could set down their stag in the middle, like so, and then they take their self, do, 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 and now they have a stag in between them, okay, and you show up, if you show up, like so, you're like, ah, Subsworld talked about this, if it's, if it's gray, it means it's going to stack. So then you start backing up and you find out the range is way over here. And it's like, well, at what? And then at, at that point, using the stackable stag is not going to be beneficial. Okay. That could be an issue. Like, it really, really could be an issue. But good news for you is that I'm fucking huge brain. This distance that they created right here can still be a huge benefit to shadow stepping. Okay. There's so many different scenarios that you can use a stackable stag. Okay, but I did. I just wanted to bring some light to it. Like, hey, if you're a rogue and you're watching this and you're tired of using Horde Battle Standard, like you see my stack all the way over there. I can't click it, but if I use it, I doubt it's gonna stack. See, you can use this right over, yada yada yada. Good. Now, just to show you how the macro works is, let's say I set down my stack instead of setting focus, yada yada yada. I would click my primary, walk over sap them and then press my macro it automatically set focuses my stag and it uh automatically sh uh, shadow steps so oh let's get rid of this oh i'm walking over i shadow step right boom shadow step mouse over boom clean as day okay i don't know why I'm, i think it's because i'm like double clicking or something it's been a while since i played this game um but yeah i hope this video has brought some light to the stackable stag um, so that you can no longer use your horde battle standard but there are some downsides like i showed you there are some defense mechanisms that you can use with the stackable stag and so it may not work every time but i will tell you it is much much better using a stackable stag and it not working than a 10 minute cooldown horde battle standard that you can use in a team fight for plus 15 percent health it, it, it's just the benefits outweigh the loss is what i'm trying to get at because Look, I can set down a stag right now. Dude runs over, gets on top. Fuck, it happened? Okay, whatever. I, and then I can use my horde battle standard if I wanted to. But do know that setting down your stag, like the enemy can tell like, oh fuck, a stag's here. I'm about to get opened up on, they run away, whatever the case is. Kind of going on a tangent. But 
I hope you guys liked this video. Okay. Um, I'm going to start making videos again. The thing is that like, I'm only like three out of seven chapters. There's just so much shit to do, man. I'm trying. I have work. I've been going to the gym still. Like I just, I, I just a lot of my time is just taking up, taking up with just IRL shit. So I can't play and invest all the time I want to into this game. And at the same time, I don't want to invest a shit ton of time into this game. Like I just, I want to take it easy. I want to take it slow, but I want to provide content for my loyal, faithful subscribers and supporters. Okay. And I hope this guys helps. I hope this guide helps and takes your guys' RPG gameplay to the next level. And I will talk to you guys later. Peace.